I'm a lover of wild edibles. A few years ago, I really said, I want to do this. There were so many acorns. You know, in the past, my son and I would go out and there'd be hardly anything. And this year we were getting buckets after buckets of perfect acorns. They dry for several months and it did make the cracking easier. We are doing it where you crack the acorn shell off, then you got to separate the meat out, and then you've got to remove that papery coating. And once you get them pretty clean, then the next step is to grind them. And once they're ground, then you need to leach out the tannins, which could take 20 changes of water. If you just try to eat one without processing it, you'd probably spit it out pretty quick. You can do it either hot water or cold water. We're trying to, gonna try a cold water approach with the hope that it keeps a little more nutrient. It's quite nutty, it's richer than uh, another kind of grain. It's very healthy, it's a lot of nutrients and it's got a lot of oil, so it's gonna be quite filling. Food that would uh, stay with you for a while. <laughs> when we finish these acorns, we'll have 20 pounds of acorn flour. I just love like everything having to do with wild edibles and uh, eating from the land. It feels like it's timeless, something that would have been happening here like 10,000 years ago. The community would gather together and all work together on a process and really have an enjoyable time together. <laughs>